everyone, I'm Lin, co-founder and CEO of Fireworks.ai. Today, I will talk about what is developer-centric AI in the Gen AI era. For me, this is very personal and the topic is really dear to my heart. My passion has always been giving our developer awesome tools and engines to do the best in their job. I started my career at the early stage of data boom, building fast data engines and tools after my PhD. I moved to AI about six years ago, leading PyTorch team at Meta to accelerate AI research innovation in open source and drive huge production loads at Meta scale. I started Firewalls.ai with a group of brilliant engineers last October to continue my journey of empowering developers, as all of you here, to be the most equipped, prolific, and creative in this new AI revolution. Despite of the recent wave of huge AI awareness, it actually started from more than 30 years ago. Yan Lokun as one of the pioneers in deep learning published a paper about bad propagation applied to handwritten zip code recognition in 1989. Although it, come, it came with a small data set and a small neural network, the paper still reads very modern today. Now we are in a new era of generative AI, covering from text generation, image generation, to multimodality, and so on. This new technology is driving product innovations, shifting and disrupting the landscape of both consumer-facing and enterprise products. So there's actually a very profound shift on the technology side, because with Gen AI, we can have much higher data efficiency of AI model customization. Before the Gen AI era, companies spend a lot of resources curating, cleansing data, and they always need to train from scratch. Now people just need to build on top of foundation models. As you can see from the diagram here, with the foundation model as about at the bottom, it's pre-trained with data crawled from the internet. You can build on top of it to specialize for a particular domain, such as legal, health, finance, and so on. You can further fine tune with your company's prepared data to solve your company's specific tasks. Or you can use personalized data to build AI assistant or avatars for individuals. This shift significantly reduced the amount of data needed to innovate at application or product level. Therefore, it moved the product exploration using AI a lot more practical and faster than before. Product developers will get a free ride with the rising model quality and such an easy customization. Before I share more about how you, the product developers, can leverage this new shift, let me start with where the AI developer journey began. As I mentioned, Yen started doing AI in 1980s. For many years, AI remained as a research topic. And the researchers innovate on the neural network architecture. They care mostly about flexibility to optimize model most efficiently for the training data and maximize the quality. When we started about six, seven years ago, we saw every three years came a completely new disruptive model architecture. And Every few months came an incremental but substantial model quality improvement. The pace of value creation and innovation hasn't slowed down, but accelerated in the recent years. So PyTorch was initially invented for AI researchers to innovate, move fast, and reach breakthroughs. And after a few years, many researchers changed their career to become entrepreneurs or work in production systems. In production development, we care about different things. We care about mostly on system performance, stability, version control, cost to serve, scaling, and so on. You can see here, there's a strong tension between research and production because the researcher's goal is to break current paradigm to find a breakthrough, and the production's goal is to optimize for the current paradigm. I spent the past six years focusing on moving models from research to production. I drove PyTorch to accelerate this transition 
and the bridge the gap caused by this tension through one pi torsion time. Pi torsion now is broadly adopted in production with more than 50 trillion inference per day, over hundreds of thousands of machines, and more than 70 billion inference per day, over billions of mobile phones across iOS and Android devices. PyTorch application in the industry has penetrated through all different domains as well, all the way going from content understanding, covering vision, language, speech, to complex tasks, including ranking recommendation, to robotics, and to high precision tasks, including medical treatment, drug discovery, cancer screening, and self-driving cars. Most of self-driving cars company have been using PyTorch. And PyTorch community adoption keeps rising through archive usage. This covers both research and production papers. As we can see from the chart, it rise over the past six years in dark orange to dominate the implementation of archive papers. And PyTorch team at Meta continues to drive open source development and grow the community. So in this new Gen AI era, most of the Gen AI models are written in PyTorch. Fireworks is created to accelerate product innovation on Gen AI. Based on our accumulated experience, managing, deploying PyTorch services and models at scale with high performance. So there are actually a lot of challenges enable product innovation on top of Gen AI. First of all, the landscape of Gen AI model space is fast moving. The velocity of model innovation keeps increasing over the years. As you can see from the diagram on the right-hand side, the intensity of new model creation accelerated over the, these recent years. In particular this year, new model got releases almost every week, like Falcon, Llama 2 from Meta, Huge Wave, and there's so many different fine-tuning mechanisms, like adapter-based, LoRa fine-tuning, and also rope scaling for large context window, and so on. So to many product developers, it's very confusing how to build on top of this ever-shifting landscape and how to create a stable product with everything moving underneath. More specifically, the product developers are solving a business problem. And the business problem usually involves a composition of business workflow in the, in the many AI sub-problems. So should the product developer use a foundation model directly, use a domain-specific model, or find to a model with their proprietary data? We have a first mile problem here, because not knowing where to get started often slow people down. There are many developers come to us asking, hey, I want to build a natural language retrieval of domain-specific documents or retrieval of a company-specific internal documents, or I want to retrieve product only from my product catalog. All of this information they have private access to and it doesn't exist in the public domain. How do they do that? How to generate reports, charts from their production data? How to automate and optimize construction workflow from the proprietary information they have accumulated over the years. All this problem, the fundamental question is they don't have a good starting point. And it's actually more complicated than what I just mentioned. There are different model sizes to begin with in each of the model family here in this diagram. The bigger the circle, each circle represents a model, a bigger circle, the bigger the model size. Usually model size is positively correlated with model quality. So you can ask a foundation model a question and a get back answer. So that's one way to interact. Or you can teach the foundation model some instructions or a certain kind of um, format, output format you want the foundation model to generate. That's called prompt engineering or few shots. With few shots, the model quality goes better or you can use fine tuning to fine tune with your proprietary data. That means with the smaller, you can go smaller model size, but achieve on par model quality or even better model quality. So these different options 
requires different engineering, investment, or different talent even to begin with. Which path would you start and, and the choose is open question to many people. And of course, Gen AI is very expensive. Many companies need to bring the Gen AI model into inference and then their product can use it. Gen AI inference is very resource intense on um, memory, memory bandwidth, compute, and the companies get blocked or stuck or slow down by this step going to production. And we have a last mile problem here. AI model size was exponentially increasing in the past two to three years. It was a race on the size towards quality until DeepMind published Chinchilla Law and saying, hey, there's a good ratio between the number of tokens to amount of parameters. And the ratio is around 20 to 1, so it doesn't make sense to keep pumping up the model size. And that shift model development to push for high quality but smaller size. But even so, most people today are looking at modeling the range of 1 billion to 70 billion parameters. This is much more expensive than traditional machine learning model like XGBoost. So most of the companies are not equipped to handle model inference at that huge size. Even worse, a lot of company usage of Gen AI grows very quickly to the point it's not just expensive, but also hitting their hardware capacity very quickly. So at Fireworks, we think whenever there's a challenge, there's an opportunity. So we think this is a great opportunity for all the product developers and enterprises to get the free ride on the model quality competition, despite of the fast moving landscape here. I will call for all of you to continuously test and evaluate the top models. Pick and choose the best for your product. Also, from the model provider side, it will not, it will not be one model provider dominating the whole space. There will be many players actively advancing general model quality. Fireworks will enable simple flow for you, for your product to easily access all the state of art open source models. So you don't need to worry about how to navigate this landscape. More specifically, we provide stable APIs uh, to the best large language model for your tasks. Our release consists of top model families for you to explore and integrate, such as Falcon, Llama 2 for Meta, Starcoder, and so on. We provide compatible and consistent API with OpenAI, so it's very easy to use if you're already familiar with it. We also enable land chain integration, so you can stay with our favorite tools to access large language model agents while using our API. In addition, we provide stable API for the best fine-tuned models. We host fine-tuned models built either in-house by us or by the community for a specific task. For example, chat in a particular language like French or Chinese or dialogue-specific summarization and so on. These fine-tuned models provide deep expertise and significantly improve model quality in serving and solving a particular task. We will also support you uploading your own fine-tuned models to our platform. So not only you can use it, you can also share it with other people. To make fine-tune easy, we give you easy recipes. So the recipe encompass a wide range of popular use cases. It's not just fine-tuning, but also help you evaluate model quality in a straightforward way. Now, I would like to switch gear and talk a little bit about production. We have been optimizing PyTorch models in production, managed cost to serve, and the price performance for years at Hyperscaler. This is our favorite topic, and we offer Fireworks fine-tuned models at really competitive cost to serve pricing. As one example, we take five, uh, 7 billion model size, and our fine-tuned pricing is five times cheaper than OpenAI's equivalent model size base model and 30 times cheaper for their fine-tuned models. We are also specializing optimizing latency and throughput. We move super fast to bring performance to the new models. As you can see from this chart, 
across varying batch size from 1 to 16 to higher, we deliver more than 10 times latency reduction of a pretty new model quickly. And more broadly, we foresee a continuing trend of doing model system co-design. That means models are designed with inference efficiency in mind. And in this particular chart, we will focus on multi-query attention as a new model design. And we apply deep system optimization and the model system co-optimization techniques. With Fireworks, you can achieve more than 11 times higher throughput or even deploy a large model in a low end GPU to Fireworks when it's not even possible before. Tying all together, to innovate your product on top of Gen AI, you need a platform like Fireworks. We aim to remove all frictions from challenges mentioned above and offer a rapid experiment and production platform to you. You get started quickly with your own data using our pre-built tuning and evaluation recipes. You can also change and adjust as you like, and then easy deploy the fine-tuned models to our inference service and enable you to do your product testing and scaling without thinking about other infrastructure work. To achieve that, we partner with many cloud providers, including GCP, AWS, and Core Reef, to satisfy your needs on pricing, privacy, and security. We'll expand our cloud partnership more down the road. For more information, please check out app.fireworks.ai. You can access our hosted open source large language models, fine-tuned models through our API. You can also upload your large language model or fine-tuned model for your specific needs or for other people to use. From app.fireworks.ai, you can read our documents and join our Discord channel for more discussions. As a closing remark, the developer-centric AI is being redefined. Researchers drive model innovation. This enables more product experiments and exploration integrating with those new models. One out of 10 product idea is successful. It goes into full-scale production deployment. Production generates more data to feed into research. The cycle keeps going on. Looking forward, we are in a new disruption cycle now where new models and new building blocks are emerging every week. This shift significantly reduced the amount of data needed to innovate at a product level. And it makes product exploration using AI a lot more practical and faster today. Product developers, including all of you, will get a free ride with this rising model quality and easy customization. So I expect to see a larger AI developer cohort growing as our product developers actually integrating new AI building blocks into your software stack. I'm super excited about the product breakthroughs that's coming up in this new exciting era. And I look forward to working with all of you to accelerate your journey.